Jesus Christ, my Lord. The only way to meet my God. Jesus is the Christ, my Lord. He washed away my sins for me. Jesus is the Christ, my Lord. The darkness crumbled at his name. Gift of Salvation, given by Christ's love on the cross. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. While I was still a sinner, the offspring of the woman of Genesis 3.15, Jesus Christ, died for me on the cross. Thus, I must remember that God has clearly shown me His love and given me the gift of salvation. In John chapter 19, verse 25 to 27, there were four women and the disciple John standing under the cross in which Jesus was crucified. Four women were Jesus' mother, her sister, Mary Magdalene, and his disciple Clopas' wife, Mary. These four women stayed with Jesus Christ, who was crucified to forgive our sins till to the end. In those days, people who died on the cross were the sinners who committed the worst sin. Thus, those who showed pity towards them were to receive terrible punishment. That is why even Jesus' disciples ran far away from Jesus who was crucified on the cross. However, these four women and Jesus' disciple, John, remained till the end, next to Jesus who were crucified on the cross. And seeing Jesus, who suffered all the pains and afflictions which overcomes the death on the cross, they came to realize the love of Christ's cross towards us. Today, I will tell you a story about four women who were with Jesus to the end. Even Jesus was crucified on the cross. First is about Jesus' mother, Mary. Mary, a virgin, was engaged to marry a wonderful young man, Joseph. However, an astounding thing happened to the Virgin Mary. An angel in sparkling white clothes appeared to Mary and said, Mary, you will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are going to give him the name Jesus. Mary answered, I am a servant of God. May it be to me as you have said. Hearing this confession, the angel left her. In no time, the Virgin Mary's baby bump was increasing more and more. Mary's fiancé, Joseph, was a very wise man. He did not say anything to others after seeing Mary's baby bump. Instead, he stayed quiet and prayed in silence to find the will of God. At that moment, an angel appeared in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because Mary has conceived Jesus by the Holy Spirit. Mary and John obeyed to the word of God. However, Virgin Mary, who conceived Jesus by the Holy Spirit, had to go through many difficulties. When she was giving birth to Jesus, she was not in a nice house but at a very shabby stable. And King Herod, after hearing the news of Jesus' birth from the Magi, tried to kill all the baby boys. So they had to escape to Egypt and hide there until Herod died. Not only that, seeing Jesus suffer and crucified on the cross, 
Mary felt great pain, as if a sharp knife was stabbing her heart. Jesus knew this pain of Mary very well, more than anyone else. Thus he said to her, "Dear woman, here is your son." Like this, Jesus called Mary, "My mother." And to the disciple John, Jesus said, "Here is your mother." From that time on, the disciple John took Mary into his home and took good care of her. And after Mary's death, John walked on a journey of an evangelist who fulfills the work of God. Mary's sister was also a woman who stayed with Jesus till the end under the cross of Jesus. This woman had two sons, John and James. She saw that Jesus fed many people with two fish and five loaves of bread, and healed the sick. And she also saw many people shouting, "Hosanna, Hosanna!" following Jesus. Thus, she went to Jesus and asked for her wish. Jesus, grant one of my son to sit at your right, and the other at your left in your kingdom. At that moment, Jesus rejected her wish. However, Mary's sister did not feel heartbroken nor have fallen into temptation towards Jesus, who did not grant her wish. Instead, she followed Jesus till the end. Why did she do that? Mary's sister heard from Jesus' mother, Mary, that Jesus came to this world to save us, who left God. And are dominated by the power of sin, running Satan's errands, trembling in fears while living in this world. She came to realize that Jesus is the Messiah Christ, the Creator of God. One of her two sons, James, was martyred, preaching the gospel, and John walked the path of an evangelist who recorded Bible up to Revelation. And there was yet another woman who was with Jesus till the end under his cross. It is the wife of Clopas, Jesus's disciple, who was going down to Emmaus and then returned back to Jerusalem. Finally, there was a woman called Mary Magdalene. After Jesus died on the cross and was risen on the third day, the day after Sabbath. He first showed himself to Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene never forgot Jesus' word that I will rise again from the dead. Mary Magdalene used to live being possessed by seven evil spirits. However, through Jesus, she was cleansed and healed. Thus, she believed that Jesus will die on the cross and be risen. So she poured an expensive perfume. On Jesus's feet and wiped his feet with her hair. Because Jesus, who came as Christ, has cut off the curse of Mary Magdalene, possessed by seven evil spirits, she stayed with Jesus till the end and walked the path of becoming amazing evangelist. That day, four women and Apostle John saw Jesus Christ's death on the cross. And his love that overcomes all sufferings to fulfill God's work of salvation. Jesus cared more about the people around him rather than his suffering on the cross. Jesus forgave and looked after coward polite who harmed Jesus, soldiers who made fun of Jesus, putting a crown made with thorns onto Jesus's head, and the high priests. Seeing this love of Jesus and the work of salvation that fulfills the Scripture under the cross, Jesus' disciple John and four women shared the blessing of salvation wherever they went, and lived a life of wonderful evangelists who find and grow disciples. Our young remnants, if we have received the gift of God, the blessing of salvation, how should we continue? The true king who destroyed the devil's work, the true priest who finished all our problems on the cross, and the true prophet who opened the way to meet God. With this name of Jesus Christ of Genesis three fifteen, 
we must begin to fight the spiritual battle of crushing the serpent's head, no matter what. God clearly said, "You will surely die." However, Satan whispers that you will not surely die. Therefore, we must absolutely crush the head of the liar, alienator, greedy Satan, who hid in our bodies through original sin and the incident of Genesis three, to make us live in our own way with the name of Jesus Christ. Even we can see with our eyes. If we set free what has been bound and changed by Satan, that made us to do as he told, running his errands, the true joyful days will begin. Thus, when we call out, "Jesus is the Christ," we are children of God. All problems are solved. Devil be gone. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. We will truly live as the happy children of God. He. Who does what is sinful is of the devil. Jesus Christ, who came as the King of Kings to destroy the devil's work, is the name that gives salvation to all people. I bless you to enjoy the gift given by God, the blessing of salvation, with the name of Christ, who is always with us. Also, become a wonderful spiritual summit, who share this blessing of salvation. Towards 237 nations all around the world, to the ends of the earth. Almighty God, thank you for giving me the gift of salvation through the love of cross of Christ, who overcame all the sufferings to deliver me. I was dominated by the power of sin, being apart from you, trembling in fears and running Satan's errands. Now may I begin with the name. Christ, which all people are saved through, and become a spiritual summit for the world evangelization, who enjoys and shares the blessing of salvation. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen.